All right, you already know what it is. It's your boy, Big Rich Mob Stories, Monday, August 5th. Let's get to business. We're going to be starting the live show real soon, but I have to get these articles out there. Uh, and uh, that's how we do. So let's get down to business. Let me bring the picture to the screen, and here we go. Thomas Torpy, former Rochester mob bodyguard, dies. And if you look on the screen right now, you see a picture of Thomas Torpy in handcuffs. He's the dude with the glasses. All right? Thomas M. Torpy, a former Rochester mobster who was convicted of hiring a hitman to kill a rival, has died at 72. Torpy first came to the forefront in the late 1970s as a bodyguard to mob underboss Salvatore Sammy G. Gingello, who was known as the most dapper criminal figure of the era. Torpy died on July 26th after complications from a fall after he broke a hip. Hey, listen, man. You get old like that, you can't be doing shit. You break your hip, you can fucking die. That's how crazy it is. Six of the city's leading mob figures, including Gingello, were tried and convicted for alleged roles in the 1973 mob hit in the 1973 hit of mob arsonist Jimmy the Hammer Massaro. The convictions were later overturned after it was revealed that the police fabricated evidence, as they usually do, these pigs. When they were freed in January 1978, the new crew that had taken over the town's gambling and other illicit activities didn't want to relinquish control. Why should they? This led to escalating tensions and formed the basis for the Rochester mob wars between the A team and the B team. On April 23, 1978, Gingello stepped into his Buick after coming out of a Stilson Street establishment and it exploded. Boom! Mr. Torpy and Gingello's other bodyguard, Thomas Taylor, were both there. They survived the blast. Gingello, however, died in surgery. No one was ever charged in the Gingello sling. In 1981, Mr. Torpy was involved in another mob killing. They hired a professional hitman, Joseph Mad Dog Sullivan, to kill another mob figure, John Fiorino. The hit occurred outside the Blue Gardenia restaurant and Empire Boulevard in December of 1981. Now, the Blue Gardenia was a, was a big mob hangout back then. Authorities alleged that Mr. Torpy and Taylor ordered the killing of Fiorino because he was a senior figure in a rival mob faction. Some also speculated he was cooperating in a federal mob investigation. Mr. Torpy and Taylor were charged with conspiracy and murder for hire. The first trial ended in mistrial, but they were convicted of second-degree murder at a subsequent trial in 1985 and sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. Mr. Torpy was paroled in 2008. Salute. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, it's Mob Stories. Salute to my boy Shattered.